This study aims to estimate the green, blue, and gray water footprint of wheat production and consumption globally using a high-resolution approach. The assessment is based on a grid-based dynamic water balance model that takes into account daily soil water balance and climatic conditions for each grid cell. The results show that green water accounts for 70% of the total water footprint, blue water accounts for 19%, and gray water accounts for 11%. About 18% of the water footprint related to wheat production is meant not for domestic consumption but for export, with about 55% of the virtual water export coming from the USA, Canada, and Australia. The global average water saving from international trade in wheat products was 65 GM3 slash year. A relatively large total blue water footprint as a result of wheat production is observed in the Ganges and Indus River basins, which are known for their water stress problems. About 93% of the water footprint of wheat consumption in Japan lies in other countries, particularly the USA, Australia, and Canada. In Italy, with an average wheat consumption of 150 kg per year per person, more than two times the world average, about 44% of the total water footprint related to this wheat consumption lies outside Italy. The major part of this external water footprint of Italy lies in France and the USA. This article was authored by M. M. McConan and A. Y. Hoekstra. We are article.tv, links in the description below.